welcome to another episode of The Journeyman. Who knows what number we're on? We're at Fulham. We're having fun. We're, we're not scoring goals, which... I mean, I'm a striker. Should probably be scoring goals. And you know what I think it is? I think it's those green gloves. Those fantastic, beautiful green gloves that our father, Luca Toni, brought us. I think those gloves, since putting them on, we've lost a bit of our striking prowess. And someone commented it on a recent video, we need a bit of a makeover. We need a bit of a new me. If we feel good in our skin, we'll start scoring goals. The boots, they're a non-negotiable. The gloves, they're not. We're going to remove the gloves. We are going to move to an untucked t-shirt. I hate it. I hate untucked t-shirts. I see all the time in people's videos, it says, oh, uh, Jared HD, please untuck your players' t-shirts. It looks disgusting. It looks so grim. And we're going to make one last drastic change. A beard signifies a man with nothing to lose. Oh, God. <laughs> we're going to go with this, the Amish beard. It signifies a man with nothing to lose. When we lock eyes with the goalkeeper, with this... This beautiful Amish beard, the goalkeeper will know... Okay, Benedictoni means business again. Head honcho is back. We are also going to change celebration, we're going all out. Obviously, we'd ideally do this. It doesn't let you do it most of the time. So, we're gonna, we need a new celebration for Benedictoni. There we go. We're going with the cradle. Problem is, we have to score to do it, and we have not been scoring. I'm not sponsored by Nike on the game just yet, but I'm ready to be Nike. Whenever you're ready, I'm ready to wear this every video. If we get a big move, sponsor us, Nike. But until then, I can't wear this, okay? Other thing worth noting, top scorer in the league with 13. And I, we've played a lot of games. I don't even have the excuse that we've only played half the games. We've played less games than everyone else. We've played a little bit less than everyone else. Not enough to be 13 on the top scorers chart. We haven't sort of paid off our price tag just yet. And it's getting late into the season. We need to start turning it around soon if we can. Sends it out wide to Ito. Back to Fratezzi. Through to... Oh, just, you just slowed down when it came near you there, Ronima. Through to Fratezzi. Through to Ito. Oh, saved by Ruse. Really thought that was going to be another Tony assist Fratezzi goal. The golden combination, if you will. Can you imagine if we stay at Fulham next year and Fratezzi leaves and we stay? That will be heartbreaking. Could be another cross in here. Cavalero finds me at the front. I mean, what have we even tried? 30 minutes in, a game of few, few chances. For God's sake. Ito! Oh, just over. Getting into the playoffs, all about time in your run. You know, you want to you want to win your last five games of the season to get in there. And then the semi-finals, you're like, we're on form. You don't want to be spluttering your way in there. Otherwise, it's not going to go well. Nil-nil, second half just kicking off here at Craven Cottage. Cavalero. Do you know what? I make a lot of runs like this, okay, calling for through balls. I'm incredibly slow. There's no way, and this is crazy, so I can train sprint speed, which I've been doing. So I think our sprint speed's about 73. Acceleration, you can't train it. So I think our sprint speed's 73, so once we get going, we're right. Our acceleration's 60, or something like that. I look like a hot dog today. I'm going to batter Mansfield. I've just decided. Things aren't going well. I'm going to score a hat-trick against Mansfield, get the confidence back up, and we will go from there. Apoku, he's gone back to me. I've gone through to Onoma. Surely, surely. Why? Why would you go back to me? Tony! Oh, for God's sake. Fratezzi. Of course, Fratezzi's going to be the same. Oh, for God's sake. Why? How little confidence does Onoma have? I know I take him down every single episode and tell him how terrible he is, but he should have more confidence than that. That was pathetic. Back this way, Onoma. Why has that come with such little pace? Benedict Tony! What a finish, Benedict Tony. Let's see the cradle swing. Show me the beard. Show me the beard. It's oh god. It's vile. It's absolutely vile. Benedict Tony, what a finish. The pass is behind me. One touch. <laughs> Happy days. 1-0 win against Derby. It's time for the big one. We can make it to the FA Cup quarterfinals if we win here. We're here at Court Lane against Mansfield. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna go into that village with knives and chop off Mansfield's hands because they are thieves who don't deserve to be here. I can't think of a time, because even Pavon 
I mean, Pavon was great, but he was only at his very best when he came on for the last 10 minutes, which was like a cheat code. For Tezzi, for a player who just plays all the time with us, I don't think there's been any club, even, where we've had... And this goes journeyman, FIFA 19, journeyman, FIFA 20, where we've had a player as good as Fratezzi. If you're a proper journeyman fan and you think there has been someone who was as good as Fratezzi at any of our clubs, let me know, and I'll consider it. I mean, it is a foggy night in Mansfield, which sounds like the worst start to a romance novel you've ever heard. What do we all think of the new dirty scruffy uh, Benedictoni? That's a good ball. Tony, he's got in front, blocked by Fernandez. What is a player with a name like Fernandez doing at Mansfield? They should just have Smith and Oliver's. What is that, Fratezzi, you lunatic skateboarder? Do you know, as much as I love doing... It doesn't really work there, but as much as I love doing headers, I also love if you just hold L2 when it comes down. It sort of backs into him and touches it down. It looks really cool when you actually get the follow through. Oh, good save, Sherpin. Right. I'm not having more Sherpin FA Cup heroics. I'm being the hero. Half time, 0 0 against Mansfield. Bit of dribbling from Big Frats. Oh, great save from. Fratezzi took matters into his own hands then. And I'm not sure I agree with his decision. Right, you've got a second chance. Better cross, please, Seri. Great cross. Tony! Tony! Surely. I mean, what happened there? Brilliant. I mean, we've broken the keeper's kneecap, but we haven't scored. Not getting past the front man. Tony straight to the keeper. Half an hour on the clock. When do you start to worry? Oh, I've still got it. Little back heel. Seri. Wide. Brilliant. Harassling has come on. I'm 81 rated, so is Fratezzi. Harassling is 82 rated. You wouldn't believe that, would you? Because he's done nothing this whole time. Mansfield passed to someone who's miles offside. Come on, Harassling. Prove your worth. Through ball. Fratezzi, is he going to get there? No. 20 minutes to go. I don't want a replay against Mansfield. I'll be embarrassed to bring them to Craven Cottage. It'll be like in a TV show when someone's embarrassed to bring someone home to meet their parents. Good cross, Harassling. You are high rated. You have proven yourself there. One touch. Benedictoni. Stung the palms. One more, one more. Benedict. Oh, why did it, what a save! Okay, lots of questions there. Fake shot, did it to get it on my right foot. The save beats me. We've got 10 minutes. Ten, we've got 10 minutes, guys. 10, ten minutes. Little chip back for Tezzi. Should have chested it. Five, five minutes, everyone. Five. Not enough time to play with it there. We're going to draw to Mansfield. Come on, come on, Harasslin. What is that pass? I, Harasslin is god awful. We've drawn to Mansfield. We have drawn to Mansfield. Drawn to piss in Mansfield. <sighs> come on then, let's go to the second leg. I feel like this season's just become, it goes to extra time. We haven't drawn to Mansfield. I mean, can I just say, what kind of formation is that? Is that the most narrow formation you've ever seen in your life? Jean-Michel Seri, Harasslin. Seri, sends me early, sends me early. I've done him, I've absolutely done him. Header it across, Harasslin, surely. Yes, 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 yes. Mansfield fans, <laughs> yeah, you're out the cup. Take that. Is it golden goal? No, it's not golden goal, they're not even out the cup. 1-0 Fulham, only took 97. 97, 97 minutes. If I'm on Skybet right now, I'm putting 20 quid on Fulham to score two more goals. Because I can just tell we've got the Fulham flair about. Fratezzi! Come on, Sergina. Yeah, yeah, make him turn around. You little punk cowards, Mansfield. We earn as much money in a week as you do in a year, Mansfield. <laughs> Benedict Tony has a lovely bit eared. I've always had faith in harassment. I know a few people in the comments will try and twist my previous words and say, but you said this, you said that. And I'll just say to those people, no, I didn't. I never said that. <laughs> They're just not good enough. They're Mansfield for a reason. We're Fulham. We are giants of English football. They are scarecrows of scarecrow world. Yeah, look at this coward. You boys are scared of playing against grown-ups. Yeah, I'll just chest that down. Don't worry about me. Yeah, I'll just drop this ball off to Jean-Michel Serre, a £30 million player. Me, Benedictoni? Yeah, I'm a £60 million player. What, are you... 
who are you, local academy graduates, Mansfield? Because <laughs> I know no one's spending money on your cheap ass. Sweeney, look at this, they're full. They should be embarrassed. They should be embarrassed that they've even bothered getting to the fifth round. They've embarrassed themselves on global TV. I hope you're happy. Come on, yes. 1-0 to the underdogs. Fulham get the win. I'd like everyone to put in the chat how sick Mansfield made you. How sick to your stomach you felt watching those poorly paid, terrible footballers even bothering to try and beat us. The mighty Fulham. Championship elite Fulham. Bloody hell. Should we just do it now? Should we just do the FA Cup quarterfinal now? It feels like we should. Because otherwise we're just not... Do you know what? We're going to do it. We're going to do it. Call me, call me crazy. Call me crazy. We're going to skip the Reading game. And we're going to go straight on through to the FA Cup quarterfinal. I bet you didn't think that this would happen, did you? Um, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Before we go anywhere, before we go anywhere, what did I just see? What did I just see? Not about Barnsley. Fulham manager critical of Tony's performances. Tony's status with the squad could be in some trouble as his production is dipped and reportedly he has not met his manager's expectations. This is an internal matter and will be treated as such. I have nothing to say on regarding any player. Why is it in the news then, gaffer? Why? Oh, we're not going public with the pregnancy of our little baby girl who's due in two months' time. You wouldn't do that, would you? He's come out here, he shoved it up me, and then said, oh, I'm not saying anything, though. F*** you, Scott Parker. Right, Crystal Palace game, and you've got yourself a fired up Benedictoni. <laughs> Nobody wanted this. You might as well just book our train tickets to the FA Cup semi-final now. Book our tube tickets from Fulham Station to Wembley Station. I imagine that's what they're called. FA Cup quarter-final time. Sixth round, I piss on your tradition. This is a quarter-final to book a ticket to the semi-final, to then book a ticket to the tube station that will get you to the semi-final. Milahojevic is still there. Are they playing the kids? They're playing the kids. A rage is festering and building within me, people. Let's take this down. Show him who's boss early on. Yeah, you get on the ground. Get on the ground. He found me. He's a lunatic. I'm, I'm busy moaning over here. I should be running into the box. I could have been on the end of that. I probably would have been on the end of that. If I jumped high, you know, 40 feet in the air. I'll tell you what, player career could be really good if you had a proper relationship with the manager. Like, you could join some clubs and it's just programmed. Like, you get your big move to Arsenal. And it's just programmed in that the manager hates you. There's no real reason for it. He just doesn't like picking you. He's always digging you out in the press. And you could have a call back and forth. But no. Instead, I'm just imagining Scott Parker is a... <laughs> Cissé. Look at that touch. <laughs> Pialik. Headed clear by Hector. Milovojevic. Down to Dreher. Oh, for f sake. Do you remember that cross that Ito did? two minutes ago and I said I would have got on the end of that they've just done that how high has that ball gone and how low has it come I mean Jesus Christ if that's not a hit and hope it's 1-0 is it a good goal I don't think I'll give it that respect he's hit it with his ankle cannot believe it Crystal Palace have made nothing this game and they score with what is effectively a goal kick just someone punting it high in the air <sighs> is the Fulham FA Cup Miracle. I'll go as far to call it a miracle. It's gone past dream. It's a miracle. What Mansfield did, pure luck. Us, it's a miracle. Is it going to be over? Half time, 1 0 down. Scott Parker's just had me in the dressing room like that. Just waterboarding me. Saying, score a goal. Pianic. Olsen. Don't be afraid to put a foot in. Not like that. Fudge. It's frustrating because Crystal Palace squad-wise are definitely worse than Liverpool and definitely worse than Watford. Fratezzi, back to me. Fratezzi sets the screen. Benedictoni. Oh, saved by Plogman. I'm trying to move edge for you. Good ball. Ito, back across. Tony. Oh, ow. Here we go. To Ito. I'm here for you, son. Oh, what is that? What is that pass and who is it to? Fratezzi to me. Bit of strength. Bit of strength. Bit of strength. Should have squared it. I should have squared it. I said it before I even shot. Well, boys, they say it's better to have loved and lost than to have never loved at all. I violently disagree with that statement. If you never loved at all, you don't know what you're missing out on. 
I was this close. Probably, probably more like I was this close to winning the FA Cup. We killed some giants along the way. We squashed some bugs, but we're out. You see, I think the league is all wrapped up now. So we might come back with the playoff semi-finals, to be honest. Let's have a little look what's going on. So effectively, we've got almost a 15-point gap with only nine games to play. Sunday, we're going for the big one. We're going all the way to the p -p 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 playoff semi-finals. Make sure you join us here. Not Sunday, Saturday, 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 Saturday. Get it in your head, Jack. Thank you so much for watching. See you Saturday. If you did enjoy the video, like, subscribe, comment, all of that good stuff. You know, I feed off your support. I'm like the guy from Hannibal. His name's Hannibal. Thank you for watching again. Stay safe. Ciao, Bella.